has been attracting people to this lonely area. The Gold Museum, located at Tankavara, let you dive into the past. The Gold Museum provides information about famous gold diggers, how they lived and how they extracted the gold from the river sands. The ancient gold diggers used wooden water channels and simple metal pans. The separation of heavyweight gold and lighter weight river sands just follow the principle of gravity. Nowadays, there are some active gold mines in Finland. Beside professional mining, there are still a few gold diggers using modern equipment. And there are also championships in gold panic. Let's have a look at the map of Northern Finland. Northern Finland is an area in between Norway and Russia. The huge Lake Inari dominates this area. Lake Inari is the third largest lake in Finland and is segmented by hundreds of islands. If you are on the water, you won't be able to estimate the real size of the lake because your horizon will be covered by these islands. Despite this fact, the water areas you can see look impressive. Inari city is located directly at Lake Inari and a visit to Sida Museum is highly recommendable. The Sida Museum provides information about local culture and nature. The Aivalochoki River has a length of almost 200 kilometers. The Lemonchoki River is located more to the north. Both rivers became famous due to the gold found in and beside the riverbeds. There is a gold museum at Tankevara. The gold museum provides information about the history and the gold rush in the 18th century. It gives you insights on how the gold diggers lived and extracted the gold from the river sands. Kultala is a historical site directly beside Ivalochoki River. Kultala has been the home and the working place for hundreds of gold diggers in the past. Today only few wooden houses remind of this period. A metal bridge facilitates the roughly 10 km hike to Kultala. Kultala can also be reached by canoeing Ivalochoki River. Ivalochoki River is an adventurous waterway. There are more than 40 rapids before Ivalo City and Lake Inari is reached. 
Ivalu city provides a little airport for flight connection. Ivalu Chilki River has formed an impressive river delta at the junction with Lake Inari. The Ivalu Chilki River broadens massively and forks into many water channels at the river delta. In between Ivalu and Tankavara there is an unpaved road to Kutura Bridge across Ivalu Chilki River. Following this road the Paaya Trail can be reached. The Paaya Trail leads to Kultala historical site. The trail is 12 km long and can be done as a day trip.
Oder mitten durch? Was meinst du? Ich würde fast rechts, aber immer noch links vom Stein vorbei. Oder rechts vom Stein vorbei? Links vom Stein vorbei, aber trotzdem rechts.